I'm gonna show you how to create realistic glass textures in Adobe After Effects using displacement maps. And the great thing about displacement maps is that you can use any pattern you want using the method I show you in this video to create different style of glass. So for example, in this video, I just show you a very basic straight glass effect. But if you were to create a different shape than the one I show you in this video, there's an abundance of different variations you can create. Hopefully you enjoy, let's get straight into the video. First off, you wanna have a composition with your video in it, and then you want to make a new composition. And this is gonna be the glass effect. So how this is gonna work is we're gonna create the glass effect or the glass displacement map. Then we're gonna apply it to our clip. So I'm gonna call this one displacement map. We're gonna press okay. And now we have our video composition and we have the displacement map. So first things first, right click on the screen go to new solid and then search up gradient ramp and then drag it onto your clip now select on the black solid select one of the sides and just bring it inward and we're basically going to make like a very skinny strip of gradients as for the gradient you want to select on end of ramp and click on the target icon and just select the left or right side of the strip and now basically what you have here is you have a strip that is like half white, half black. And this is going to help with the displacement map. Now we want to repeat this effect multiple times. So you can search up motion tile and just drag it on as well. And now go over to output width and it'll basically replicate whatever you have on screen. When you increase the width too much, you might get this error. So what you can also do is just increase it as much as you can. Copy and paste multiple versions of this or basically manually duplicate this. So press command or control C on your solid layer and then press control or command and V to paste. And then you can press P on your keyboard to show up the position. And then we're just gonna move this left. And then I'm gonna do this again. You can also highlight multiple solids and press Control or Command C and paste it as well. Highlight all of them and press P as well and you can move all of them at once basically. So here we have our displacement map. Now go back to the glass composition and go over to project and drag in displacement map. And this should be underneath your video layer. Now right click and go to new adjustment layer and then search up displacement map in effects and drag it onto that adjustment layer. So at first you won't see anything and that's because the displacement map layer is not selected correctly. You wanna select displacement map or the third track for this and then you'll see what happens. So if you zoom in, you can see this effect in action action both the vertical and horizontal displacement to luminance and you also want to change source to effects and masks and now if you really wanted to you can displace it more to the right or more to the left so in this case i'm going to type in like 24 and you can see we have a really realistic effect this is actually seen in the as it was harry styles music video at the very beginning and what's great about this is if you go back to the displacement map and for example wanted to rotate all of them so you can highlight all of them and press r on your keyboard and just rotate it slightly. So if we have something like this, you would obviously want to fill in the black area. But if you go back to glass, now everything is shifted. Another thing you can do is you can go and add a adjustment layer and you can add an effect called wave warp, change the direction to zero and you can change the type to triangle. And you'll notice that on most window panes or very similar patterns, they're not perfectly straight. So here you can adjust the wave height and width. But now you can see we have a different pattern right here. If you want to play around with the project file, paid channel members have access to all the project files for future videos. So you can press the join button below or you can check the pinned comment and description for that. You can also check out our store for different displacement maps that we've created that you can just import and drag and drop into your project files and link to your displacement map effect. Next are two final effects that we can apply to polish this up. So we actually want to go back to displacement map. We want to go over to effects and we want to search up box blur or any sort of blur works actually. So we're going to go to fast box blur, drag it over. So here I'm going to set the radius at one. Um, so it's very, very subtle. You can barely see anything. And then we're going to go and search up a scatter and apply this also to our adjustment layer. And so I'm going to zoom in here so you can see we're going to randomize every frame and we're going to increase the scatter amount. And you see we get this really cool texture. So I'm going to set this at around five. But here, if you zoom in, you can see it gives a sort of glass texture. It's actually more apparent if you apply it directly to the video. So if we add it to our adjustment layer, for example, and increase it, you can see the type of texture we get. But if we increase it too much and add it to the adjustment layer, you actually don't get any detail at all. So that's why I applied it to the displacement map. That's about it for this video. If you don't have After Effects yet, you can check the link in the description for over 60% off the entire Adobe Creative Cloud Suite if you're a student or teacher. Also, make sure to check this After Effects playlist and subscribe for more videos just like this.